So I've been away from my, my home for about one and a half to two years or so. And uh, in that time, uh, I still kept ordering packages of trading cards. Uh, and my friend just picked them up for me. And they've kind of just been waiting for me. And finally I'm home now, so I can get to opening these. Pretty interested to see what's going to be in here. There's a lot of these from, uh, from I think, face-to-face -face games. So some other ones here from some other stores. A lot of this is going to be Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, but it's it's pretty cool because uh, I ordered these, you know, within the past couple of years. So a lot of these are going to be uh, way more expensive now than they were when I ordered them. There's an advertisement. This one is just stuck to the thing. Is it in a top loader? Yeah. Focus, please. Okay. That's really stuck there. I'll have to use this box cutter. I can title this video, Watch Me Struggle to Pull Something Out of... Uh, okay, so this one is actually a, a return. Because <laughs> I, uh, I buy-listed this to face-to-face -to -face games. But they knocked the price down a lot, uh, and I remember see when I sent it, it seemed like it was, you know, perfect. So I didn't understand why they knocked the price down, so I just got them to send it back to me. But there's this foil M19 Crucible of Worlds. Um, yeah, it still looks perfect. Is there something on the back? Okay, so there is a tiny, like a super tiny mark there. I, I would call it an indentation, but I don't even feel an indentation. Um, yeah, I don't know. If anything, I would say that should be lightly played. But anyway, I've got it back, so that's cool. It's in this one. Uh... Wait, nothing? Oh, okay. Um, that's just an envelope. Some documentation. How about one with actual cards in it? Okay, so we've got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards here. For a while, um, for like probably a good six months or so, when, when after cards had exploded in price, uh, the store was still selling them at the same price it seemed like they'd been listed at for, you know, I don't know, a couple of years or so. So for a little while, it was able, it was possible to get really good deals from here. Uh, they've stopped doing that though, they've updated all their pricing. But, uh, for example, these MRD Summon Skulls, I think I paid seven Canadian dollars each for these. I believe the price today is at least, I want to say 30 to 40 US dollars. Could possibly be even more. I don't know how to open this thing. What is going on with this? This is a weird case. So we got a couple summon skulls here, and then also a first edition Pharaoh Servant magical dropped it magical hats. And these are all quite nice condition. I mean, yeah, I dropped that one, but it's fine. So that's cool. This is a weird case. I've never seen one like this before. Let's put these back in this penny sleeve. That's cool these off here. What is in this one? Okay, so this is one I ordered pretty recently, actually. Two first edition MFC skilled dark magicians. They should be in nice shape. Yep, that's cool. Uh, 
I just got those because they were in stock and a decent price, so I'm fine with having some extra first edition classic cards. That's what this one is going to be too, I think, just a bunch of first edition classic cards. It's a decent amount of them here though. We got a Ancient Sanctuary Needle Burrower, Death Counter Blow, Gear Golem, Stone Statue for Sarcophagus, so lots of Ancient Sanctuary. Reload. Here's an unlimited Rageki. That's kind of cool. Nice. Trap of Board Eraser. Oh, cool, yeah. Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Sayaryu. And Valkyrian. Those are some uh, pretty good, pretty valuable promos, actually. Especially this, this one. It's gone off a lot. The Dark Duel Stories one. So those are cool. Happy to get those. Let's put those on top. Nice. Those are ones that I did need for my collection, actually. Those three cards in particular. So I'll put those in my binder. I'm just, I'm opening these upside down to hide the shipping label. This just came right out there. So what do we got here? Emissary of the Afterlife, it's a good card. Flame Swordsman Unlimited. This is, this is another example, I think, where... I don't remember how much these cost, but I think it was pretty cheap. And Flame Swordsman is one that's gone up quite a bit. Just make sure they're not Asian English. Reinforcement. A couple Acid Trap Holes. Some nice promos. Once again, Dark Duel Stories. That's cool. Flame Swordsman is a big one from that lot, I guess. Those are the ones from face to face games. Let's check out some other ones here. Uh, how about this one? This should be another big lot of Yu Gi Oh cards. Let's get back to that bubble mailer. I actually like to reuse bubble mailers like this, so I'm trying to not destroy them. I figure it's better than just throwing them away. I'm gonna have to edit out my address there. So this one should be pretty interesting. One of these packages uh, should have a very big card in it. That would be valuable. I'm interested to find which one that's gonna be. So we got uh, some more classic cards. Lots of them should be first edition. Dark Master's Org, I needed that for my my uh, collection also. Oh yeah, this is going to be a bunch of commons here. So I was trying to fill out my collection with first edition commons. Humanoid Slime is, I think that's a short print. Warrior Returning Live, Arm Ninja, nice. First edition LOB. Some more first edition LOB stuff, that's cool. Cannon Soldier, cool. First edition Great Desired. Reasoning. It's a nice little lot there. Um, how about this one? This might be the one that I'm thinking of because it's tracked. I got tracked shipping for it. I wrecked that one too. Obnoxious Celtic Guard. Uh, how do I open this? Okay. It's packed pretty securely, so it might be the one I'm looking for. Nice and careful here. Some extra top loaders. So let's see, here's another one for my collection. It's because I wanted this card, because I remember, I think I remember having this when I was a kid, but it's cool. Acid Trap Hole, some promos, uh, Duelist of the Roses, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. Here we go. It is in very bad condition, but here's a first edition LOB, Red Eyes Black Dragon, North American English. Yes, it's super played, but I paid 100 Canadian dollars for this. Um, you know, it was just, 
it was listed as damaged, so you know, without seeing a scan, that could be that could mean any number of things. Honestly, this is in worse condition than I was hoping, but it's still a first edition North American LOB Red Eyes, so that's cool. A first edition backup soldier for Pharaoh's Servant. Another Valkyrian, Sinister Serpent, those are some nice promos. Got these three here too. That's cool. So yeah, it's more beat up than I was hoping, but it's alright. Uh, I opened this one. Uh, another thing. All of these are so. It's from, these are from the same store, but they're all packaged in different ways. It's kind of weird because they have different people packing packaging them. So a little one here. We got a first edition LOD Freed the Mattress General. First edition LOB, Dragoness the Wicked Knight. It's in pretty nice condition. That's cool. I'm pretty sure this one only costs like seven Canadian dollars. Some first edition um, uh, Super Rares, MRL, Invader of the Throne, and Zed Middle Tank from Magician's Force. Uh, how about this one? Another from the same store. Let's, uh, let's do this. This is a pretty big one, it seems. Oh, okay, so this one is going to be cool. This is one that I ordered uh, at the beginning of 2020, I think, in probably February or March. So this is, this is ordered a long time ago. This one is going to be another example of a, a big lot of cards that I ordered before prices went crazy, though. I might actually see if I can show you the invoice uh, after I go through it. So you can see the price of some of these cards. Uh, so let's see, we got some uh, some rares. There's a first edition MRL. That's cool. Here we go. Let's see. A lot of this is going to be unlimited, but it's still cool. So we got Mystical Space Typhoon, Toon Mermaid, and Toon Summoned Skull. The Summoned Skull's got a little ding there. Thousand Dragon from MRD. There's a Thunder Dragon. Time Wizard. That one's gone up so much recently. Jinzo from Pharaoh's Servant. There's a good one for you. Nice shape, Visor Shock, Fuchio Richie, a couple of first edition super rares from Ferrana Fer Guardian. You can see here there's a magic cylinder from Labyrinth of Nightmare. And Royal Command. These should all be in very nice condition. You just saw there's a little bit of play to that. Someone's doing someone's skull, but it's still pretty good. Most of these are going to be near mint though, I think. So we've got Torrential Tribute, that's a good one. Dark Ruler, Freed, Celtic Guardian from LOB. Uh, Cherubin, Curse of Dragon LOB. Here's some more LOB rares. They're, these are unlimited. This is before I decided that I wanted to collect all of these in first edition, so I was ordering unlimited at this point. Monster Reborn, that's cool. Mystical Elf, Trapple. First edition Banisher of the Light. And a confiscation. Let me just make sure that these are yeah, North American English. That's cool. Uh, let me see if I can find that invoice. Show you some of the prices. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see. Uh, where's a good example? Torrential tribute for three fifty nine. So once again, this is going to be back from either February or March of 2020. It's a little while ago. Uh, there's another one that's particularly interesting. It's going to be on the second page. Yeah, okay. Uh, Toon Mermaid. Five bucks. Toon Summon Skull. Four bucks. Thousand Dragon was three fifty nine. It's pretty cheap. Time Wizard, nine dollars. These are Canadian dollars. Jinzo for twenty-two fifty. It's pretty nice, right? 
first edition cards, first edition Gravekeeper's Chief for 71 cents. Not bad, right? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with those. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, there's actually one more from this place too. I'm not sure what's in this. Just remove the shipping label. I got a Salamandra. It's another one I got for my collection. So I, I like to get the promo cards that I had when I was a kid from the very early games. So we got the Salamandra, another Gamma. First edition Forceful Century from MRL. That's nice. Some first edition stuff here too. First edition Book of Moon for a Guardian. First edition Guardian Sphinx. We got a metal Zoa here. There should be a, a Zoa. Oh, this one is nice. First edition Pharaonic Guardian Nightmare Wheel. It's another one that I can add to the collection. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, terraforming, Goblin Fan. So we got... Hmm, interesting, there's no... Actual so oh, the Zoa might be from a different uh, different store. So we got two metal Zoas and a perfectly ultimate great moth. Let's check out the uh, shipping the, the invoice from that one. Let's see anything interesting in here. Salamandra for three bucks. First edition Book of Moon, buck seventy nine. Uh, perfectly ultimate great moth for three dollars. Metal Zoa was three dollars each. First edition Nightmare Wheel. Wait, I should probably put this on the camera. How about that? First edition Nightmare Wheel, 630. Guardian Sphinx, 350. It's pretty cool. A big sack of paper off to the side here. Um, what else? Let's go with this one. Uh, I just gotta peel off this label, my address on it. This is from a different store. Try to open this. Uh, hmm. How do I? I don't really like it when things are taped so much, you know. So it looks like that's the invoice. I'll try to hide that a little bit. So I see my address. Too much tape. Come on, man. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why I ordered this in unlimited. I might. Have, I might have just got it because it was like a couple cents. So, Unlimited Trap of Board Eraser, Creature Swap, Dark Ruler, Bean Skull Dragon, Luster Dragon 1st Edition is cool. Reinforcement, Torrential Tribute, Unlimited, Backup Soldier 1st Edition, Megamorph 1st Edition, here's a 1st Edition MRD card, and a TP3 Elegant Egotist. I'm gonna take a look at this invoice. Okay, so. This Trap of Board Eraser was supposed to be first edition. It's only 89 cents though, so I'll probably just take that as a loss. That's fine. Uh, I'm actually gonna have to contact them about this one, the Torrential Tribute, because uh, it's supposed to be first edition and I paid, you know, like $40 plus for that, but it is unlimited. <laughs> the Mega. Megamorph, okay, the Megamorph is first edition. Um, Fake Trap is unlimited and it's also super beat up. So there's quite a few problems with this order. I mean, if it, the thing is, I ordered this super long ago. I don't know if there's a date on it. Uh, February of 2021. Yeah, that's a long time ago, but uh, 
I might still contact them because that's a problem. You know, these first edition cards uh, are worth way more than unlimited, which is why I was paying for them, right? <clears throat> uh, what else have we got here? This is just one from eBay, I think. I don't know what this is. Tape to the envelope. Okay. This is a. Come on! Okay. Uh, first edition MRD Catapult Turtle. That's a nice one. Looks good. I'm just, for the sake of time, I'm just going to leave that in there. I'll deal with the tape later. Here's another eBay one. Oh, <laughs> this is funny. There's actually a lot of Dragon Ball Z cards. This one I ordered fairly recently. I uh, just got these for nostalgia, you know. Um, I got these. This is a set of a bunch of Masteries. And the Masteries were cool cards. Because I did play this. You know, back when I was a kid. So I thought it would be cool to have these. It was pretty cheap. So I just, you know, I just grabbed it. That's neat. Just got a couple more here. From eBay, first edition LOD Smoke Green of the Thief. I got that because I needed it for my collection. But then after I bought this, so I found another one. But it's okay to have this in multiples. I think this is the last one. From eBay once again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your purchase. Please leave positive feedback. This is a first edition SDJ Scapegoat. Once again, I ordered this a long time ago because I had gotten a first edition... Started at Joey, uh, like the full thing, the box and everything was pretty cool, but the scapegoat was uh, beat up. So I wanted to get a better condition scapegoat to replace it with. So, you know, it's not a huge card or anything, but that's why I got this one. Yeah, this is actually <laughs> in worse condition than I was hoping, but it's okay. Nice. Um, I think that's all of them. Okay, so that's a you know giant lot of cards there. Take a look through these again after I'm done. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. It'd be cool if you can like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff.